Cohen to resign as Trump's top economic advisor. Let's go ahead and steal that image. Uh, Gary D. Cohn, the president's top economic advisor, last month at the White House. Officials insisted there was no single factor behind his departure. Gary D. Cohn, President Trump's top economic advisor, plans to resign, becoming the latest in a series of high-profile departures from the Trump administration, White House officials said on Tuesday. The officials insisted that there was no single factor behind the departure of Mr. Cohn, who heads the National Economic Council, but his decision to leave came across after he seemed poised to lose an internal struggle amid a Wild West-style process over Mr. Trump's plan to impose large tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. Quote, Gary has been my chief economic advisor and did a superb job in driving our agenda, helping to deliver historic tax cuts and reforms and unleashing the American economy once again, Mr. Trump said in a statement, President Trump said in a statement to the New York Times. He is a rare talent and I thank him for his dedicated service to the American people. Mr. Cohn is expected to leave in the coming weeks he will join a string of recent departures by senior White House officials, including Mr. Trump's communications director, President Trump's communications director, and a powerful staff secretary. In a statement, Mr. Cohn had said he had been uh, pleased to work on pro-growth economic policies to benefit the American people, in particular the passage of historic tax reform. White House officials said that Mr. Cohn was leaving on cordial terms with the president and they plan to continue discussing policy even after his departure. That's the picture I want. So let's look at this here. Bannon, left. Priebus, left. Newman, Left Hicks, left Spicer, left Walsh, left Flynn. Well, Flynn was picked off, wasn't he? So it's kind of that's kind of a uh, who who put this out again? Who? Huh? New York Times. Ah, that's why. That's why. See, they don't even give the respect to the president, Mister Trump. You know, they don't even say president. Yet the departure of Mr. Cohn, a free trade orientated Democrat who fended off a number of nationalist minded policies during his year in the Trump administration, could have a ripple effect on the president's economic decisions and on the financial sector. Even the mere threat last August that Mr. Cohn might leave sent the financial markets tumbling and his planned exit comes as the president is making a more aggressive return to the national policies that helped sweep him into the office as the 2018 midterm elections approach. Mr. Trump's announcement last week that he would levy tariffs on aluminum and steel imports was the most uh, immediate catalyst for Mr. Cohn's departure, according to pe people familiar with his thinking. Longtime proponent of free trade believed the decision could jeopardize economic growth. Uh, his plans to leave also followed conversations Mr. Cohn held with the president in recent weeks about the possibility of replacing John F. Kelly as White House chief of staff, said people who were briefed on the matter. The president never formally offered Mr. Cohn the job. Those people insisted, but Mr. Trump, President Trump had discussions with him about whether he would be interested. Uh, Mr. Kelly said he would miss having him as a partner in the White House, but he departs having made a real impact in the lives of the American people. People close to Mr. Cohn said that he planned to stay for roughly a year and that he had accomplished a number of things he cared about. That included the $1.5 trillion tax cut that Republicans passed last year. All right, so this is him right here. And we'll end on this picture. Have a good day. I'm out of here.